Hi there! Well, it is time for empties, and I've actually accumulated a few more than I thought. I hadn't looked in my bin in quite a while, so I do have quite a few things to share with you today. I'm also going to change it up a little bit, and I'm sharing with you some household home product empties. I thought that might be something just new to share, kind of talk to you about something I might be using around my home and whether or not I would repurchase it. So I don't have these divided up or anything. I just have them all thrown in my usual bin here, and I'm just going to dive right in and see what I see and talk to you about what I've got. So the first thing on top here is a pump. This is the large size of the Matrix Biolage Fiber strong shampoo. I really love this shampoo. I've not repurchased it yet, but I will. I was kind of hoping an Ulta coupon might come out this fall around the same time as the Sephora sale coupon, so I've been holding off a little bit, but this is something that I always keep in my shampooing rotation, and I've really enjoyed it. The next thing that I have is from Dove. This is Dove Gentle Exfoliating Moisturizing Body Wash. I really like this. I like the fragrance of it. It's a very fresh, clean smell. I don't think it's probably the best exfoliating product a body scrub or sugar scrub or something would definitely work better but it is very refreshing and I like the feel of it and it does moisturize my skin and the scrubbies are kind of nice in it so this is something that I would repurchase Next is one of those household products that I wanted to talk to you about. And this is something that I mentioned in a video a while back when I talked to you about how I clean the wood look tile in my home. But I've repurchased this several times now, so I thought I would throw it in my empties. This is the Pledge Floor Care. This is multi-surface concentrated cleaner. This does the best at cleaning my tile floors. I have a house full of tile other than one room of carpeting. And I just find that this doesn't leave a haze. I really like the fresh smell of it. And it just seems to get my floors cleaner than anything I've used before. and doesn't leave behind any kind of film or any stickiness or anything. A little bit goes a long way, um, but the bottle does last me quite a while. And I've only had good luck finding this at my grocery store, not other places. But I will try to put a link to it down below. But I think this is really good stuff. And I just repurchased it for my home. Next, I have a package of Clinique Take the Day Off, the cleansing towelettes. I did really enjoy these. I'm not sure it's something I would go out of my way to purchase, but when I'm buying from a Clinique or there's a sale or there's a bonus time or something, I would definitely get these again. They do a fantastic job at removing makeup. They're not a really damp cloth, but they do have that nice makeup removing cleanser in them and so that is really what removes the makeup you don't have to press really hard or scrub or anything so my first impression was that maybe these weren't moist enough that maybe they weren't going to do a good job but then once I realized that the cleansing solution that's in them was really enough to remove the makeup, I really ended up liking them quite a bit. So these were nice to try. Okay, another one of the household products. This is something I've had for quite a while and I just love, absolutely love the fragrance of this. It's something I've never gotten tired of. This is from Kohl's and it's the Egyptian Cotton Fabric and Room Freshener. This smell, the Egyptian cotton, and then they have another one I think called Italian linen are my absolute favorites. I love having this to just freshen up fabrics and pillows and blankets and things around my home in between washings. I don't know, the scent of this, it says the scent of crisp white cotton fabric. I just, it, I don't know, it's one of the best home fragrance smells I've ever had, and I, so I really like it and wanted to mention that because it is something I will repurchase. Okay, another cleansing towelette that I have. This is um, something that shows up in my empties quite often. These are from Trader Joe's, and as always, I love them, and I definitely would repurchase them. These are just a longtime favorite of mine. Next, I have a package of the Beauty 360 Ultra Premium Cotton Squares. These are from CVS. Love these. These are uh, comparable to the Shiseido uh, Facial, or the Shiseido Facial Cotton, yeah. So, but these are a much better price and I really like them. I already have a backup, but I will go and purchase these again because I don't ever want to be low on them. I really like those particularly for removing eye makeup because they're so much softer than like Swiss Burrs or something else that I use. Next, I have an eye makeup remover. This is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. Really like this. Does a very, very good job. What I like to use is this, and then I also have the Lancome by Facile. I kind of go back and forth between these. I typically use this when I'm wearing 
um, a non-waterproof makeup and then I will use the long comb when I'm wearing a waterproof makeup um, like my Maybelline full and soft mascara I think this does a better job but when I have something just a regular mascara on I will use this so I just use these for my eye makeup and then I use my cleansing towelettes for anything else around my face but I would definitely repurchase this again it's nice to have to just kind of go back and forth and it makes the long comb go a little bit further all right, next up, I've got a bunch of small things here in the bottom of the bin. So the first one is the Bite Agave Lip Mask. I don't know how many times I've repurchased this. This might be my third tube, but I will most definitely repurchase it. I love this product, particularly as we come into the winter months and it's drier. It just works better than anything else that I've used on my lips uh, for my nighttime treatment. I don't wear it during the day. I keep this exclusively on my nightstand and I've used every single bit of it up. You can see I've really flattened this tube out, but I can't say enough good things about it. I also like the Chorus Lip Butter, but between the two, I, I hate saying this because it feels so disloyal to the cores because I love that stuff and I still repurchase it. But I think this one probably does a little bit better for a nighttime treatment and I would not want to be without it. Next, I have this small size of the Bay Breeze Hydrating Shot from Dry Bar. I love these. I think this is one of the best smelling hair products I've ever used. So this is a deep conditioning treatment that I like to use on my hair about once a week. I've been buying these little sizes, just the one individual one, but they do come in a four pack from Sephora. I think they sell these near the checkout though, if you just want to buy them individually like I have. I can get about four or five uses out of one of these, so that's why I sort of buy them one at a time rather than spending the money on the four. But I love what it does for my hair and I've been out for a few weeks, so I'm really noticing a difference and I'm going to get this again. Again, when they have the sale, I'm kind of hoping to hold out for some of these things then, but I can't recommend that enough. And then, as I just mentioned, I do also have a Chorus Lip Butter. This is something that I don't even know how many of these I've had over the years. This is in the Jasmine. Um, that's the one that I always buy over and over. I, I would venture to say I've probably, this is maybe my eighth one or so, somewhere between five and ten at least. I love having this. I put this on both day and nighttime and kind of go back and forth with my bite depending on how dry my lips are. But I've used this for so many years now I just wouldn't want to be without it. All right, next is something that I found that I had not used up, and so I just went ahead and finished it. It's not overwhelmingly good, but it did a nice job. This is the Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. I would buy it in a pinch. It's not something I'm going to set out to repurchase, but it did a good enough job. I would say over or between the Neutrogena and this, I would prefer the Neutrogena, but this was an okay product. Next, I have something that appeared in my favorites last month but not as a favorite it appeared as a fail and this is the gosh this is so hard to talk about this is the it hello lashes something that was a holy grail product for me so disappointed in this time and I have really wimpy lashes so I really can't say if it's the product or if it's me but this was something that just did amazing things for my lashes when I was originally using it I didn't buy it for a while and then I went back and purchased it a couple months ago and it's just I don't know, it's been very, very underwhelming, so I wouldn't buy it again because it is sort of a splurge mascara purchase for me. I would much rather use my Maybelline Full and Soft or even my Jordana from Walgreens. So unfortunately, that is not going to be something I'm going to repurchase again. Um, something that I would buy again, though, is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is in taupe. I get these sometimes when they're on sale at Ulta or CVS. I also like the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but for the price, this is really nice to have in my rotation. And I think it's probably a little bit drier of a formula than the Anastasia, but not so much so that I it would you know dissuade me from buying it or anything. I still really like it. And for days when maybe I just want a really quick look and it, I'm not trying to get really precise or anything, I just want to fill in my brows a little bit. This is something I always reach for and something that I always like to have in my makeup drawer. And I really enjoy using that product. All right, next is something else that I've been kind of going back and forth about whether or not I'm going to buy this again. This is the CeraVe Healing Ointment. So this would be comparable to the Aquifer. The differences between the two, the CeraVe seems to um, be able to s absorb into the skin a little bit better, maybe not leave such a thick film on the skin, but it seems to me now that I've been using this for a while that maybe the aquifer does a little bit better job for me. 
I've mentioned this so many times in videos over the years, but I get really dry, flaky skin around the tip of my nose and right around my mouth. I have allergies, so I'm blowing my nose quite a bit, and so it's just an area that gets really irritated and dry. So I like to use some sort of ointment, especially at night. And I think this did a really nice job, but it seemed like it the flakiness would come back and I would need to reapply it. And with the aquifer, it always seemed like it would, I could apply it overnight and then the next day I wouldn't notice any flakiness for the whole day. So I did really like this. I think it's great, but I think for me, I might go ahead and go back to the aquifer on this one, but I did think this was a really good product and I did like that it seemed to soak in a little bit more. Next up is a, not a beauty or a household favorite, but I guess just a personal care favorite. So this is the Nordic Naturals Ultimate Omega Mini Fish Oil Capsules I've talked about before. If you take a fish oil or you'd like to take a fish oil and you're interested in something like this, I really like these. They have not caused any problems for me and they're really easy to take because they're so tiny and this is something I purchased from Amazon, but I already did get a new bottle of it and I've really been enjoying it. They're so easy to swallow. So that's why one of the reasons that I really, really like them and they're a good quality. Um, next, I have the Bausch & Lomb Opcon A. This has appeared in favorites so many times, or not favorites, I'm sorry, empty so many times because it's something that I buy over and over again. This does the best job of any eye drops that I use to keep the redness and particularly itchiness out of my eyes. And with my uh, three girls that I have that I'm allergic to, my cats, unfortunately, these are something that I use every morning, but I really like them, so... And then one final favorite I have, this is something I have already repurchased. This is MAC Matchmaster Concealer. This is in number 1.5. This is my everyday under eye concealer. It's got a nice creamy consistency. It blends in really easily, but it does not settle into lines. It's just a nice, moderate coverage. It's not very lightweight, but it's not super opaque, which I think makes it the reason why it doesn't really settle into lines or anything. It's not a dry formula just very natural and I love it so this is something I already ordered and I'm already using so that's it that is everything in my empty spin this time around let me know if you liked seeing the household products this time and I will try to remember to keep more of those things or possibly do like a cleaning product favorites video or something like that for you in the future so I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon bye bye